Hi there. Now, this is another video in my series on working with integrals like this, where if we complete the square in the denominator, we can convert it to this type of form. And I'm assuming you've watched the previous one. This one's a little bit harder because for this one, we've got a three in front of the x squared. But you might like to have a go at this if you've seen the previous video. And uh, if so, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you might like to uh, check your solution against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, with this one, we've got to complete the square. So just put down here completing the square. First of all, just as a subtitle, completing the square. What makes this one harder then, as I said earlier, is because it's got the three in the front here. So when you have got something like that, we'll just put it down, 3x squared minus 12x plus 28. Okay, we say that this is identical to, and what we do is pull out the three. Across the first two terms is generally the easiest, okay? So if we pull the three out, we've got three bracket x squared minus 4 x there okay and then we've got the plus 28 and what we do next is we just complete the square on x squared minus 4x so if I put up a big square bracket here then for x squared minus 4x we just put a bracket like so square it put an x in here and then we halve the coefficient of x here so half of minus 4 is minus 2. So that when you square this out, you'll get x squared, that part there. You'll get twice the product, so you get minus 2x minus another 2x, which is the minus 4x. Then you'll get minus 2 squared, which is plus 4. So we need to subtract 4 from this, so that this comes to just simply x squared minus the 4x. And then put the plus 28 on the end. And then if we expand the bracket, we've got three lots of x minus 2 all squared. And then 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. And then we've got plus 28. OK, I'm taking quite a lot of steps over the stages here. I'm sure you could uh, just go a lot faster than what I'm doing. But it's just to break it down so you can see what's happening. And minus 12 plus 28, well, that's plus 16. And I've reduced this down to two terms, OK? Something like we've got here in the denominator. So I can say that this integral is exactly the same as integrating then 1 divided by. And I'm going to switch these two terms around so it looks exactly the same as that. You don't have to do that, but it uh, just makes it exactly the same form as that. So we've got 16 plus three lots of x minus two, all squared, and this is integrated with respect to x. I'll just border this off, okay, so that we've got a bit more room there. Right, okay, next, what I do is I do integration by substitution. So essentially working off this idea here, which you should be familiar with, and I'm going to let u equal the x minus 2. So if I let u equal x minus 2, first of all, going to differentiate this with respect to x, so therefore we get du dx equals 1, and then I need dx du, so dx du is obviously going to be 1 over 1, which is 1. So substituting this into the integral here, what we have is the integral then of 1 over 16 plus 3u squared. And it'll be integrated with respect to u. All right. Now, we've done ones like this in the previous uh, videos in this series. 
when we get a number in front of the x squared or u squared in this case, what we do is we pull that out in front of a bracket. So we end up with 1 divided by, and then you pull the 3 out, and you multiply this with 16 over 3, and then plus u squared. All right, and that's integrated with respect to u. So what we've got here then can be changed. We can pull the 3 out the front of the integral so that we've got 1 third, and then see this as the integral of 1 over, and then 16 over 3 would correspond to the a squared, so a would be the square root of this, which would be 4 over root 3. So that's the a value, and that is all squared. And you've got plus u squared integrated with respect to u. So now using the formula, we've got the 1 third, and it's multiplied with 1 over a. So if a is 4 over root 3, 1 over a is going to turn out to be root 3 over 4. Okay, so you've got 1 third times that, and then it's going to be multiplied by the inverse tan of u over a. So u divided by all of 4 over root 3 turns out to be root 3 u over 4. And you've got the constant of integration, don't forget that, plus c. So tidying this up now, we've got 1 times root 3, which is root 3. We've got 3 times 4, which is 12. And then multiplied by the inverse tan of root 3 times u, u being x minus 2. So x minus 2 there, over the 4, and then plus the constant of integration c. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea then how we handle slightly harder ones where we've got a number in front of the x squared by completing the square in this fashion. Okay?